In the car world, just when you think you've seen it all, Mazda surprises us yet again with a move that few saw coming. The brand that brought us the iconic RX-7 and RX-8 is back in the spotlight, and this time, they're rewriting the rules of electric mobility. They're reviving the legendary rotary engine, not as a relic of the past, but as the innovative heart of their new electric vehicles. This isn't just a nod to history, it's a bold leap into the future, blending heritage with cutting-edge technology. This isn't just nostalgia, it's a smart solution to modern EV challenges. Mazda's engineers and designers have reimagined the rotary, transforming it into a compact, efficient generator that addresses real-world driving needs. Mazda's using a two-rotor engine as a power generator for an electric drivetrain, allowing for a unique blend of performance and practicality. The rotary's small size and smooth operation make it ideal for this new role. This approach tackles range issues without relying on massive, heavy batteries, keeping the fun-to-drive spirit alive. It means less weight, more agility, and a driving experience that stays true to Mazda's roots. Imagine a lightweight, perfectly balanced sports car that's also an EV, delivering instant torque, sharp handling, and the unmistakable character of a rotary-powered Mazda. By using the rotary as a compact power station, Mazda reduces weight, enhances handling, and boosts efficiency. The result is a car that feels nimble and responsive, whether on city streets or winding back roads. Mazda's commitment is serious, with a dedicated team reviving this iconic technology. Their engineers are pushing boundaries, determined to make the rotary relevant for a new generation of drivers. They've already proven the concept with the MX-30 REV in Europe and Japan, showing that the rotary can thrive in real-world conditions and meet the demands of today's drivers. Now, they're developing a more powerful version for performance-demanding markets like the US, aiming to deliver even more excitement and capability for enthusiasts. Mazda's message is clear. The rotary engine story is far from over. Instead, it's evolving, adapting, and ready to inspire a new era of automotive innovation. A new, electrifying chapter is just beginning, promising a future where tradition and technology drive side by side. It's a bold move, reminding us that the future of automobiles is full of surprises, and that innovation often comes from the most unexpected places. The excitement is palpable, and as Mazda takes this daring step, they might just redefine what it means to drive electric. What makes the rotary engine so special? Why do car enthusiasts and engineers alike get so excited about this unusual piece of machinery? Unlike regular piston engines, the rotary or Wankel engine is unique in both its design and operation. Instead of pistons moving up and down, it uses a completely different approach to generate power. Picture a spinning triangle, called a rotor, moving inside an oval-shaped housing. As it turns, it creates three separate pockets of space that constantly change in size and shape. This simple yet ingenious design means there are far fewer moving parts than in a traditional engine. No heavy pistons, no complex crankshafts, just a rotor and a few gears. In just one rotation of the rotor, the engine completes all four strokes. Intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust within each chamber, making the process incredibly efficient and compact. This continuous fluid motion is what gives rotary engines their signature smoothness. There's almost no vibration, and the engine loves to rev high. With no pistons or complex valve train to slow things down, the engine delivers turbine-like power and a unique thrilling sound that sets it apart from anything else. Rotary engines are also incredibly compact and lightweight, which gives car designers a lot more freedom. They can fit more power into a smaller space, and the engine can be positioned lower in the car. This allows for better aerodynamics, a lower center of gravity, and improved handling, key ingredients for a true sports car experience. That's why cars like the RX-7 and the iconic SP are so perfectly balanced, with weight distributed almost evenly from front to back. The rotary engine may look small, but it packs a mighty punch, delivering impressive horsepower for its size. Driving a rotary-powered car is a truly unique experience, one that you simply won't find anywhere else on the road. Mazda's rotary engine journey began in 1967 with the Cosmo Sport 110S. This car, with its twin rotor engine, was a futuristic marvel, 
Mazda put rotary engines in everything, but sports cars like the RX-7 stole the show. The RX-7, launched in the late 70s, was light, affordable, and handled like a dream. It built a loyal following thanks to its unique character and high revving fun. The third-generation RX-7, the FD, became a legend with its twin-turbocharged rotary engine. It was a supercar killer, known for stunning looks and incredible performance. Even after the RX-7, Mazda kept the rotary alive with the RX-8. The RX-8, with its Renesis engine, offered a unique driving experience. It was a testament to Mazda's commitment to the rotary engine. The RX-8 continued the legacy until production ended in 2012. Mazda's rotary engine shone on the racetrack, proving its might in a world dominated by traditional piston engines. While many doubted its unconventional design, Mazda persisted, refining the rotary until it became a symbol of innovation and resilience. The pinnacle of this journey was the legendary 1991 Le Mans victory, with the 787B race car, a moment that stunned the motorsport world and put Mazda in the global spotlight. This remarkable car, powered by a four-rotor engine, produced around 700 horsepower. Its unique sound and high-revving nature made it a fan favorite, and its engineering was unlike anything else on the grid. Competing against giants like Mercedes-Benz and Jaguar, Mazda entered as the underdog, facing teams with far greater resources and racing pedigree. Le Mans is not just a race of speed, but a true test of endurance and survival. Through day and night, the rotary engine's durability and efficiency shone through, surprising even the harshest critics. As competitors faltered and broke down, the 787B kept going strong, thanks to its simple yet robust design and the relentless work of the Mazda team. Drivers Johnny Herbert, Volker Weidler, and Bertrand Gachot drove flawlessly, pushing the car to its absolute limits and executing perfect teamwork during the grueling 24 hours. With their victory, Mazda became the first Japanese manufacturer to win Le Mans, a historic achievement that inspired a new generation of engineers and fans. The rotary engine became the first non-piston engine to achieve this feat, forever changing perceptions about what was possible in motorsport engineering. It was a giant killing performance that cemented the rotary engine's place in history and proved that innovation could triumph over convention. The victory was a testament to Mazda's engineering prowess, relentless spirit, and willingness to challenge the status quo. The 787B's win was a moment etched in motorsport history, celebrated by fans and respected by rivals around the world. Mazda's rotary engine had truly conquered the world, leaving a legacy that continues to inspire innovation and passion in automotive circles. It was a triumph that resonated with fans and enthusiasts alike, a story of perseverance, ingenuity, and the relentless pursuit of victory. Despite its greatness, the rotary engine had challenges. It was thirsty, using more fuel and oil than piston engines. Emissions regulations made it difficult to keep the rotary compliant. Public perception issues and high development costs added to the challenges. Mazda made the tough decision to pause rotary development. The last RX-8 rolled off the line in 2012 marking the end of an era. Yet, hope for the rotary's return never faded among fans. Mazda found a new role for the rotary engine as a range extender in EVs. Instead of powering wheels, it acts as a compact, efficient generator. This approach tackles range anxiety, a major EV concern. The rotary's small size and smooth operation make it ideal for this role. It operates in a narrow, efficient RPM range, improving fuel consumption. The rotary range extender offers the best of both worlds, EV torque and gasoline range. The Mazda Iconic SP concept showcases this idea with a powerful electric drivetrain. A smaller battery is needed, thanks to the rotary backup. The engine's placement ensures perfect weight distribution. This strategy builds a better, more engaging electric car. Mazda's innovation keeps the rotary engine relevant in the EV era. It's a game changer for the future of electric vehicles. Mazda's rotary engine comeback includes carbon neutral fuels. The engine can run on hydrogen, biofuels, or synthetic e-fuels. This step is crucial for a sustainable future for performance cars. Hydrogen and e-fuels offer clean power sources with net zero carbon footprints. The rotary engine is well suited for these future fuels. Mazda's multi-solution approach reflects their challenger spirit. They offer choices beyond pure battery electric vehicles. 
innovation comes in many forms, and the rotary engine plays a vital role. This comeback is important for car enthusiasts and the environment. Mazda proves you can have passion and responsibility. With clever engineering, the rotary engine has a bright future. It's a testament to Mazda's commitment to innovation and sustainability.